Hey, what's going on, fam? So this is like a little quick PS. I forgot to mention this in my other really long Keisha Bottoms video. Um, uh, what you guys see up on your screen is a chart. It's a chart of registered voters as a share of the re of the voter population. And fam, if you can see on this chart and you can see where Georgia is highlighted in Georgia, black people are 67.8% of the registered voters and i'm not sure how these percentages add up but i believe they're saying 67.8 percent of black people are registered to vote whereas only 66.8 percent of white people are registered to vote and so even though it's only um slightly less it's still less and only 53.9 percent of asians are registered to vote and only 51.2 percent of hispanics are registered to vote so fam black people are the most registered and voting black people in georgia yet keisha bottoms told you that one of the solutions and this is the the uh only misleading or or a uh, misdirecting statement that i did forget to mention in her um in her three minute clip that i played I told y'all she made seven lies or misleading statements. Seven. Well, there's an eighth one, and this is it. And that was her statements about voting. Because, fam, I've spent way too many videos debunking the voting talking point. But I just want to show y'all, fam, black people are voting, and this is what it gets them. It gets them Keisha Bottoms. If you want to change, vote. But we already do vote, Keisha. That's why we're 67.8% of the voting population, which is the largest. We have the largest percentage of our population registered to vote. More of our people are registered to vote than white people are, at least proportionally compared, percentage-wise. More of us are registered to vote than white people. So why are you why is it always the boule solution to go out and vote? And maybe some of you can see a little bit more why I have such a huge problem when Negroes who aren't boule or supposedly aren't boule, maybe they are secretly boule, especially like the way they like to brag about their credentials about how they a lawyer and how they worked in politics. Maybe they are secretly boule, but at least they're not known boule. When so-called grassroots people are telling you to go vote down ballot, which leads you to vote for people like Keisha Bottoms. That's how Keisha Bottoms got in office with a down ballot election. Why is it that Keisha Bottoms, the down ballot Democrat who's off code, who I just showed you guys was off code in several videos, has the same mentality as a so-called grassroots organization that's telling you to vote down ballot? They all just want you to vote. Fam, why is there so much investment in you voting? Black people should be asking these questions, especially by people who are known agents of white supremacy telling you to go vote. People want to criticize Diddy for saying vote or die and how that was exposing him as an agent. And yes, he was an agent. At least then, I don't know if he's an agent now. He probably still is, but I'm not 100 percent sure. But he definitely was an agent then when he was saying vote or die. Why is it that there's such a consistent theme and drumbeat for you to vote or die? For you to vote, period. You got Keisha Bottoms telling you to vote. When I've showed you with all the lies that she's told, she's against you. Why is someone that's against you telling you to vote if that's good for you? It's because it's not. Because it leads to you putting people like her in office. Token mammies who are meant to oversee your gentrification out of your own city. That's why I'm showing this chart, fam. We are the, the most registered people in Georgia. We vote more than anybody else in Georgia. Yet Keisha Bottoms' solution is to vote some more. Why is it that 
whites and Asians and Hispanics vote less than us, yet they don't have to go out and vote. It's not their solution to go out and vote more. The people who already vote the most, their solution is to go out and even vote more from Keisha Bottoms. That's her solution. Yet, I'm supposed to believe that she's for us? She's not, fam. This is just another sign. Is her lie about voting, telling us to vote more, even though we already vote more than anybody else in her state. That's her solution. That right there, that alone tells you how off code she is and how much she's out there doing the bidding of white supremacy. That alone tells you. But I still gave you seven other things, seven other lies she told in that three minute clip that also tell you. And I want to also reemphasize for the last time, fam, the fact that Killer Mike and T.I. were out there with her. It's because they're sellouts, too. Because if they were not, then at the very least, they would have came out there and disagree with her. Even if they would have did the press conference there to say, you know what? I'm out here with Keisha because I support her, but I don't agree with the condemning the protesters. Or they wouldn't have even been out there at the press conference at all. But not only were they there standing side by side with her, but they were co-signing and agreeing with what she said. Keisha Bottoms is a sellout and we need to know that. We need to start identifying these political sellouts and opportunists. And we need to start calling out these fake corporate sponsored grassroots fake activists like Killer Mike and unfortunately like T.I. And I say unfortunately about T.I. because I kind of like T.I., especially as an artist. But he's a sellout. So was Killer Mike. And I'm not afraid to say it just because I like uh, T.I.'s music. I don't even like Killer Mike's music. That's how wacky he is to me. At least I like T.I.'s music. But they're both sellouts. In the story, unfortunately. And it's shown by the type of advice they give. And this is why I was emphasizing in my, my last video about Keisha. That we have to understand that what the liars are and what a lie is. We have to be able to identify a lie by knowing the truth. And also not be scared to identify that lie because of who's telling it. Keisha is an agent of white supremacy. That's why she tells you to go out and vote, even though you're already voting more than any other population in your state. But anyway, fam, that's it. That's another video. Like, share, subscribe, and peace.